There you go. Take it away. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Yes. So thank you for the opportunity to share my research with you. So I work in the REITS lab and I'm a PhD student in my second year. And this is one of the first research I actually conducted in the research lab. So the research looked at the effect of genotype and sex in our fruit flies, Drosophila, respond to exercise. So Drosophila melanogasta is one model organism that is interestingly used in exercise research. And so this research was actually to compare exercise devices that are currently used in Drosophila exercise with them in research. And the reason why this study was actually done was because currently there's a serious threat caused by obesity everywhere. And it's become even threatening in children. We see that children are also at the risk of obesity. And this has caused several disorders like metabolic syndromes and um, diabetes, obesity. And one of the intervention strategy that has been put in place is exercise. And that's because exercise is inexpensive and it's also not, it doesn't have to maybe do with surgery or any kind of invasive measure to, to treat obesity. And in studying or in studying exercise as treatment, one of the model organisms that is currently used is fruit flies. And this is because there's a study that went on to realize that fruit flies actually they act like ultramarathon racers, like they can endure running, they can endure going through a long distance without getting tired or without giving up. And that's one thing that this exercise research is currently looking at as a tool for exercise. Also, they have very conserved genetic metabolism, genetics in the metabolic pathways that is very related to humans. So this made them a very great model for endurance exercise studies. In Drosophila exercise research, these two devices are currently used to, to measure exercise and our exercise treatments actually affect response in fruit flies. And the first one is the power tower and the other one is the treadmill. So the power tower, the way it works is it has a platform where fruit flies are placed in their vials. And this is the power tower. So when fruit flies are placed in their vials, it has a pulley that constantly rotates and pulls up this device. So when it pulls up this device, the, the vials go up and then it slams this device down again, this platform down, and this slams down the, vial, uh, the platform where the flies are placed. This, is the, this particular device is designed because of the innate tendency of flies to always climb up up any, any, up any tube or any vial they are placed in. So flies, most of the time, they have this tendency to always want to climb up. And because of that, this was designed to ensure that they have a rhythm to how they climb up. This is the first device. The other device that was created is the treadmill. And the way the treadmill rotates is it works end over end. It has end over end rotation where flies are hanged across the clams. So this is a gentle way of exercising flies much more than the power tower. However, most of most researchers conducting research in Drosophila exercise research, they usually just use both of them for, ed, for checking any variable and for checking any tree. And because of the mechanism of operation of this exercise device, there's a tendency for stressors to be induced in flies that are placed on the power tower. So my study is basically to identify if there's actually a difference in how these two exercise devices operate and their effect on flies response to exercise and flies response to treatment using exercise. So I came up with this experimental design. I had seven genetic lines and I placed these seven genetic lines on the treadmill and the power tower. And I also had a general control. So the general control were not on the exercise at all, but I had on the two exercise device, I had a control measure and I had those that were really, really exercising on the treadmill, on the devices. So the control measures, they had a very short distance to move while the exercise had 
longer distance to move within the, the, within their vials. So I had an exercise regime simulated just to just to simulate what usually happens in human heart. You, un you muted yourself, Tanulupe. We can't hear you. Oh, sorry. So I had this exercise regime for flies. I had 15 minutes of serious exercise and five minutes of rest. This is to simulate what happens in humans. And after exercising them for five days continuously, I go ahead to check. So I go ahead to measure some traits. So one of the traits that is usually considered to determine fitness and to check the effect of exercise in fruit flies is their climbing speed or climbing performance. And so we expect that their climbing performance is going to improve after being exercised. And that's one of the ways we know that, oh, this exercise treatment is actually working. So the first one, so I checked for their climbing performance across all the seven genetic lines. And what I observed is that after tapping them on the surface, we have this device, this software we use called the image. So we use the image to score each of the flies, knowing the points where they are at each cells, each, each um, boxes here tells us how fast the, the flies can climb in a space of three seconds. So we take a picture of these flies while they are climbing, while we tap them to the bottom to check how quickly they can climb. And we take this and analyze these images. So from here, I noticed that the treadmill, which is a gentle way of exercising flies, actually showed a climbing performance for flies that was higher than what we saw in the power tower. And this was actually like constant across all the genetic lines that we saw. So I just observed that this also is, this also is different both in females and in males. We see that in, the treadmill, we see that the, um, some, we see that the males actually showed higher climbing performance for, um, for treadmill than power tower. And this actually varies based on genotype too. So this is also another genetic line showing variation both in genotype and sex and how genotype and sex interact in exercise treatment. So from all of the seven genetic lines, or for most of them, I saw that there is a significant effect of device, which device is being used in exercising fruit flies in all of the genetic lines. And this, this effect actually varies based on their interaction with the genotype and the sex that is, that is actually being considered. So in conclusion, this was able to identify the device effect across all the genetic lines and also shows us that there's variation based on the sex and the genotype that is being studied. And this showed that treadmill actually performed better than fruit flies for exercise experiment. And this is indicating that there could be a stressor or there could be stressors induced when we use the power tower. And there's a need for us to pay attention to which device is being used when we exercise food flies and for what traits we are looking at. Thank you.